Have you ever been on a website or searching for a product online? And then the next time you went on Facebook, there was an ad for that product? Well, that's the Facebook pixel at work. In this video, we'll talk to you about the great benefits of using a Facebook pixel. And we're also going to walk you through and show you how to install a Facebook pixel. Coming up. Well, hello there again. It's Carlos with Cepeda Media, bringing you the best digital media tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. And if you're new to this channel, hey, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, well, let's get started learning about the great, great benefits of a Facebook Pixel. What is a Facebook Pixel? Facebook Pixel is a piece of code that Facebook gives you to put on your website. Here's an example of the code. This is basically the code that you get from Facebook. So what you do with this code is you put this code in your website. Once this code is in your website, you can start actually tracking the people that are going to your website, which will allow you to optimize your Facebook ads, keep track of who's going to your website from those ads, and also start building audiences. So if you start seeing those people or certain people go from ads, you could start building those audiences of people that are coming from the ad. By using the Facebook Pixel, you can start leveraging the actions that people are taking on your website, tracking all the actions that people are taking on your website. This is across all the different platforms, mobile, desktop, iPad, etc. And from all the data you're receiving back from the Pixel, you can start optimizing your ads, making your ads more effective making the targeting more effective. Another great feature is that it allows you to measure conversions. What this means is you can actually start tracking the people and see what they are doing on your website. Are they actually purchasing? Are they stopping before they purchase? Or which website or which pages are they going to? And from which ad are they coming from? So you can start measuring that. You start getting more data, more analytics from that, and then optimize what pages are working, what pages are not working, where are people funneling to, and where are they getting stuck at. You can get so much information, so much data, amazing insights on what people are actually doing on your website. With the Facebook Pixel, you can also automatically start building and creating custom audiences of the people that are going to your website. Also, from that, you can also start creating lookalike audiences. So from the people that are going to your website, you can start creating a lookalike audience from those people. And now you have another set of people you can target with your ads. So these lookalike audiences are similar to the people that are already going to your website. And one of the best features it has, have you ever gone to a certain website? And then the next thing you know, the next time you're on Facebook, there's an ad marketing right to you. Yes, that's the Facebook pixel at work. So the great feature about that, you can start remarketing and retargeting to every person who went to your website or to specific people who went to a certain page. You can start retargeting to the people who just went on your checkout page. So the next time you go on Facebook after you just went on the website and see an ad for something you were just looking at, that's the Facebook Pixel at work. Okay, so here we are at the Create a Pixel. Um, you can reach this place just by going to your Ads Manager, clicking down the little drop down of the uh, three buttons, and selecting Pixels. So I'll go ahead and click Create Pixel. Pick a name for your Facebook Pixel. Remember, you only have one Pixel per ad account. So if you're going to put this on a specific website, you know, name it something relevant to that website or name it something relevant to this ad account. Another thing is you can upgrade to the business manager to add up to 10 additional pixels. Go ahead and click create. Okay, so Facebook gives you a few options on how to install your Facebook pixel. So you can either use an integration or tag manager. So let's look at that. You know, depending on what you have, Facebook gives you specific extensions or instructions on that website you know let's look at woocommerce they offer a specific extension for woocommerce it shows you how to do the walkthrough on that how to set it up by going to the back end of your website so again depending on what you have and we'll show you an example right now but depending on what you have this is what you'll choose let's click on manually install the code yourself Okay, so from here we have to actually get the code so we can install the code on our website. So it tells you right here you have to locate the header code on your website. 
and then after that you will go ahead and install the pixel code within your header. So right here is your code, you can click on it to copy the code to your clipboard. Okay, here we are in our WordPress website. So head on over to Appearance, Editor, and over here on the right side you'll see Header, click Header. So let's look for that opening head tag. So here is the opening head tag. And then let's look for the closing head tag. So here's the closing head tag. So the closing one has that little forward slash in there. So what you'll do is you'll paste the code within here. Again, if you're not comfortable with messing around with code or pasting the code here, then we could do it the other way. We can do the plugins, install plugins. So head on over to plugins. Add new. The plugin is called Install Headers and Footers plugin. Type it in here, click enter, and then here it is. Install Headers and Footers, click install now. Activate plugin. Head on over to Settings, Insert Headers and Footers. And here is your script and header. So go back to your Facebook Pixels tab. Here's your code. So copy the entire code. Now back to the plugin. Paste it in, click save, and that's it. Go back here, okay, scroll down, click next, or click continue. Okay, so now that we've installed the pixel, we can start actually adding and tracking events. So with the Facebook pixel, you can identify each specific event, and you can track the ones that actually matter to you, and start developing those categories, such as add to cart, or purchase and then you can start tracking those people. Here are some of the categories and events that Facebook uh, sets up for you that you could track. Purchase, lead generation, search, etc. These are some of the most common standard events. So think about it, search, if somebody is going to search for something, search for properties, search for a specific item, add to cart, that way you can track the people who are adding items to their cart and maybe they didn't purchase so we can track who is adding items to their cart and not purchasing as i mentioned these are some of the most common ones so they already have the code set up here for you so you can click on purchase toggle this so here's a code so the code you would place it on a specific page so if this is a search or a purchase if this is a purchase you put it on the purchase page so you can start tracking the people that are going to that page and who they are and start building an audience of the people that are going on that purchase page let's click done pixel is active it's green last received 11 minutes ago so it triggered so it's working correctly it's working properly as far as the base code the base code is installed on my website the next step will be to install the specific event codes on whatever website or landing page i want to install them to track those specific events well, I hope you were able to follow along with us as we installed the Facebook Pixel. Again, if you have any other questions about that, please reach out. Leave those down in the comment section below. Question of the day, have you been using the Facebook Pixel? And if so, how have you used it to retarget and capture more clients? Please make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. Remember, some of the best tips and feedback come from you, the Cepeda Media community. So make sure to get down there, talk amongst each other, and communicate and engage with everybody else. Continue your Facebook education right here by clicking or tapping on one of the videos right here. As always, Cepeda Media, bringing you the best digital media, tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.